So the next thing that they tell us to do is they say, take a screenshot of your homepage in a web browser, okay? So over here, I have uh, saved my web page. So I'm gonna open it up with Google Chrome, okay? Uh, double click and it opens up with Google Chrome. For you, if it is not opening up with Google Chrome, if it's opening with Dreamweaver, you can always right click and say open with and then select Google Chrome from over here, okay? Right. So from here, I'm supposed to take a screenshot Okay, take a screenshot from over here, uh, print screen, come over here, and I have to paste it. Okay, so my screenshot has been pasted. The next thing it says is, uh, take screenshots of the code to show. Okay, so I have to take a screenshot of the code and show the following codings, okay? So what I'm gonna do is to view the code. There are two ways you can view the code. One is in Dreamweaver itself, you can go into code view and you can see all the code, okay? You can see the code over here. The second way you can see the code is you can right click on your web page and you can say view page source. So when you click on that, it shows you the entire coding that has been done to create this web page, okay? So I'll use this uh, as my screenshot. Let me zoom in. And what I'm gonna do is even though they have not told me to highlight the code or anything, what I'll do is I'll highlight the code and paste it, okay? So I'm going to use, <clears throat> I'm going to use a software called Snipping Tool. Almost all Windows devices will be having this, okay? So you can take Snipping Tool, you can click on New, and then you can select your entire screen, okay? Let me select it from here to here. And then on this screenshot, it gives you the option to highlight it, okay? So I'm gonna highlight whatever the question paper has told me to highlight. So number one is H1, H2, paragraph, and the underlying HTML elements. I have to highlight it, okay? So let me do that right away. Put the highlighter, yellow color. So H1, where is H1? H1 is over here. And closing over here. H2 is starting over here, closing over here. Okay, then H1, H2 and the paragraph. So paragraph starts over here, finishes over here. Okay. Okay. Right. The next thing is the underline tag. They also want me to show the underline tag, which is over here. Open here, close here. The next thing that they asked, I have done this, the blue, gray, and white colors. Okay. So the background color, which is this, let me highlight this. And then the white color, which was we call intro text, that style also I'm going to highlight over here. And then also, now this is the creation of the style. You should also show where it was applied. So it was applied over here. Can you see it was applied to these two paragraphs? Okay. So you can see this paragraph, they have said the class to use is intro text, which is to use that style. Okay. Uh, the next thing that it says is the email and image links. Email link and image link. So email link is over here. Let's highlight it. And then the image link also, which is over here. Let's highlight it. And then the next thing that needs to be done is the size of the images, 200 by 200 pixel. Where is that? That's over here. Okay. 200 by 200 over here. Now you just go into Microsoft Word and you simply press Control V. Okay, just press Control V and it gets pasted with the highlighted parts. Okay, with the highlighted parts, it gets pasted. Okay, very convenient. Then the question paper goes on to say, create the ski lesson page, uh, create the ski lessons page by resaving the home page as ski lessons. So you have to resave the home page as ski lessons. So you come to file and you come to save as and you will save this as ski lessons. Okay, that's what they told us. They told us to resave the home page as ski lessons or save the home page as ski lessons. So that's done. So you can see we have the home page and we have ski lessons. Okay. Now the next thing the question paper tells us to do is 
change the page title to ski lessons. So page title should become ski lessons. So page title is over here now. So we change that to ski lessons. The next thing is delete the introductory text step. Okay, very easy. We delete it. Next, it says create an HTML table. Include the information from the website document and the table should have a one pixel border. Okay, right. So we are supposed to create a table here. So how many rows, how many columns? You'll have to go into the website document to know that, okay? So you can see how many columns, time, area to meet, instructors. That is three columns. How many rows? One, two, three, four. So we will need to have four rows and three columns, okay? So let's go into your table. This is where it needs to come. This is the place for the text now. So you come into insert, you come into table, and you say you want a table with uh, four rows and three columns, isn't it? Three columns, four rows, that's correct. And they said the border should be one pixel. So we'll keep it at one and say, okay. So now we have to, you know, one by one, copy and paste time area to meet instructors. Time, oops, sorry. Time area to meet tab instructors. Okay, I press tab to go to the next cell for the next row. So we have uh, nine to 11. Nine dash eleven. No? Area to meet green area. Instructors. I'm gonna copy and paste. Okay, so we're almost there. It's very useful if you do know the shortcut keys. Okay, create links uh, between the two pages. The two pages should be linked. Okay, so this is important. So when I click on home, it should go to the home page. So how do we do it is guys, I right click and I click on make link. And then for the file name, for the file name uh, space, what I do is I tell to go to the 2021 June folder and then I select index page. Okay, so I have basically told my computer what file to open up when home is clicked. And I say, okay. Then I do the same for ski lessons as well. Right click, make it a link and I say, go and open the ski lessons page. Okay, say, okay. Now do not, oh, it didn't get applied, what happened? Let's try again. Ski lessons. Now it's important that this is also copied and pasted to the home page, the index page. Also, we'll have to copy and paste it. Otherwise, this will not have hyperlinks. Control S, save it as well. Right, then go back to your question paper. Save the ski lessons page as ski lessons. Okay, we have already done that. I'll just save it now. Resave the home page as index. So I have already done that. Control S. Then it says again, take a screenshot of your ski lessons page in a web browser. Okay, so you have to take a screenshot of this in the web browser. So let's open this up and let's take a screenshot, print screen, and let's come here and paste it. Okay. Control V. The next thing the question paper tells us is uh, take screenshots of the code to show the HTML table and the page links, okay? So let's go into the web browser. Let's view the page source. And we are supposed, we are supposed to take a screenshot. So I'm gonna use snipping tool again, new. And this time I'm supposed to highlight this time I'm going to highlight uh, the HTML table and the page links, okay? HTML table and the page links, okay? So page links, we'll start with that. So the HTML table, shall we highlight this? The HTML table, it starts here. Okay, HTML table starts here and it finishes here. 
Okay, they're talking about the table that we created. So I've highlighted the code. I've just shown the beginning and the end is what I have shown, okay? Then they also want me to show the page links, okay? So page links, where will it be? It's over here. Ski lessons page link, okay? And this is the link to the index homepage, okay? Over here. Okay, so I've highlighted what they have asked and then what do I do next? I have to go and paste the screenshot into task A3. Okay, so we come over here and we paste it, okay? Right, moving on, it says Sam wants you to make these change, sorry, so resave task A3, I'm sorry. Resave task A3, control S, uh, do not print at this stage, okay? Task A3B, Sam wants you to make these changes to the HTML code for the home page. Okay, they're talking about the home page. So in the home page, the text color for the introductory text should be changed to indigo. Okay, the text color for the introductory text should be changed to indigo. So what you can do is, there are two, three ways you can do is, one is you can come to the home page and you can go to the code view. You can go to the code view and in the code view, can you see the previous color, which was white. Previously for the introductory text, we put a white color text now, it was FFFF. So if you want, you can simply change these changes to the code that they have given. This is one way that you can do, okay? This is the easiest way, okay? The second way that you can do is, the second way that you can do is, you can come to design view, and what you can do is, you can right click over here, you can come to CSS styles, and you can create a new style, and in this, in and in that new style, the property can have the the sorry sorry sorry, and in the new style, you can have that style have a property of indigo color. Okay, I think I'm confusing you. Method number one, in method number one, you can simply come and change this code. Okay, you can change it to the color that they have told you to change it to. Okay, which is over here. They have said to put four B double zero eight two. You can simply put that and the color would change. That is method number one. Method number two is, let me show you method number two. Method number two is you create a new style. You create a new style. You say new, and the name of this style, you can simply call it as uh, intro text two or something. Intro text two, and say, okay. And in this one, you only change the font color. Okay, change the font color to the code that they gave, which is this control C. Control V. Okay. Now come and apply it over here. Okay. Intro text two. There you go. You have applied it there. Uh, then they have also said right align the contact details. Right align the contact details. So the contact details are over here. Right click. Align right. Okay. So that's also done. And then the question paper says uh, resave index. Okay, let's resave it. And then we come back over here. Take screenshots of the changes made to the HTML code. Do not screenshot all the code, just the code to show the changes. So how do you not screenshot all the code? <laughs> uh, just the code uh, to show the changes. So what we could do is, let us come to code view. The code that we need is over here. And the other code is over here, isn't it? So what I'll do is I'll take a screenshot, but not the entire screen. I'll just take a screenshot from here, maybe from here to here. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight. Let's make this full screen. I'm going to highlight this. And I'm also going to highlight the right align. Here we go. Align right. Okay. That's what I'm going to do, okay? Then just come into Microsoft Word and you can paste it, Control V, okay? So that's also done, extremely easy stuff, okay? Resave task uh, A3, do not print at this stage, okay, got it. Then it says, the, this code was used in a previous website. Answer these questions in document task A3. State one reason why the code will not display the image. Okay, they're asking us one reason why the image will not be displayed for this code. So you can see the problem is 
the name of the image should be inside double quotes, should be inside speech marks, isn't it? They have not put it. They have not put the double quotes or the speech marks. So it's not going to work. Okay, so shall we put that answer over here? Let's come down. You can say speech marks or double quotes have not been inserted for the file name, okay? So this is the name of the image. This is the name of the image. and It should be inside double quotes, like over here. It should be inside double quotes, okay? Explain one reason why ALT text, so alternate text has been used on the image. So the reason we use alternate text is <coughs> in case the image doesn't load up, the text will be shown, okay? We can say in case the image does not load the text, the ALT text, the ALT text would be shown to the user, okay? And the third question, give one advantage of using a template when setting up web pages. So when it comes to setting up web pages, guys, rarely do you start from scratch. Mostly what developers do is they take a template and they fill the template with the content that you need. Okay, so they take a template. When you take a template, the structure is already done. You get it, the structure is already done. All they have to do is fill in the blocks, okay, or fill in the blanks, okay? So they put your logo, they put your colors, they put your text, structure is already done, okay? So one advantage of using a template, you can say it's time-saving as it does not have to be developed from scratch. Users have to only simply put the content into it. The structure is already done, okay? Let's put it over here. You can say the advantage is that the user can save time on developing the site as he will not have to start from scratch, scratch as in from zero. Instead, he will already have the layout and structure he will, he will only have to insert the content, okay? Only the content will have to be inserted. So this is definitely going to save you a lot of time. And it's much easier rather than doing the structure and all that. It's already done for you. You just have to simply put the logo and the content and the colors and things like that, okay? According to your uh, requirements, okay? Right, with that, we have come to the end of the web authoring question. We have also completed section A. I hope it's going well for you. In the description of this video, the details have been given. Okay, if you do need any help. Uh, okay, so when in, in our next video, we'll be moving into section B and we will be dealing with spreadsheets, which is quite a tough part. Okay, see you all in the next video.